Scientists, studying the evolution of snakes, recently found out, something very interesting. According to them, today's snakes, started to diversify, when an impacting asteroid, wiped out all the dinosaurs, from our planet. The nearly 4,000 species, of snakes, that we see today, evolved, from just a handful of species, that survived the asteroid impact. Wow! What a surprise! A completely destructive and catastrophic event, led to the evolution, of a reptilian species. This is truly mind-boggling. According to a recent report, people react positively, to climate change, and feel strongly compelled, to do something about it, when stories about how climate change, has destroyed a local ecosystem, get shared with them. For example, people from Canada, connected to climate change, on a deeply personal level, when told about the receding glaciers, in the Canadian Rockies. Similarly, people from California, felt strongly about climate change, when told about the mental trauma, faced by firefighters, trying to extinguish the fires, from Californian forests. Telling people, about melting Arctic glaciers, may have an impact, but to make it more effective, direct, personal, and urgent, science communicators, must make it a point, to share local narratives. Researchers from the University of Georgia, have developed a dynamic heat index, that accurately captures heat exposure, across urban landscapes. For example, on a sunny day, certain areas, from a city neighborhood, may get heated up more, than others, in their immediate vicinity. This carries a lot of significance, when vulnerable populations, such as senior citizens or children, or places with a high footfall, such as football stadiums, come into picture. Here's one more reason, to plant more trees, in your garden. Finnish researchers, recently concluded, that aerosols emitted by plants, get converted into volatile organic compounds, and that these plant-derived volatile organic compounds, decrease the amount of solar radiation, reaching the surface of our planet, by scattering it back to space. These biogenic aerosols, also increase the amount of cloud droplets, and make clouds more reflective. Long story short, if you are planting trees, you are reversing climate change. Do you enjoy checking out photographs, of exotic places on Earth? Well, in that case, the European Space Agency, has some good news for you. This week, the ESA, has released satellite images of Calabria, a popular tourist destination, from Italy. Unable to visit Italy? No worries. For now, why don't you enjoy seeing Calabria, from a satellite? Make sure you subscribe to Videonium, to learn more about the latest scientific discoveries and inventions.